this is your Ati Ella and welcome to Upstreet! Kids, I am always so excited to spend time with you every Saturday morning because this means that we have another opportunity to give fun and learning for you all here in Upstreet. And speaking about giving, for this whole month of November, we will be learning about generosity. You know, like how we can help the people around us. Not just helping, but how we can give, how we can serve, and how we can love the people around us through our generosity. So join us this morning as we play some games, sing some songs, and listen to our storytelling. So I will not hold you for too long. Let's play some games and later on, we will have our friends from Upstreet North Point to tell you a story about generosity. See you later! This is how you play block party. Under these colored blocks is a picture of an exotic animal. Ooh, exotic. One by one, each block will disappear, revealing pieces of the picture underneath. See if you can guess the animal before all of the picture is revealed. If you wait to guess the animal until after the blocks have disappeared, then technically you've cheated. We'll have none of that. Play by yourself or race against someone in your house to see who can correctly guess first. Competition is healthy. Go ahead, call someone. I'll wait. That's long enough. Round one will start in three, two, one, now. Did you guess a llama? If you did, congratulations, you're a winner. Round two will start in three, two, one, now. Did you guess a koala bear? If you did, congratulations. You guessed correctly. Round three will start in three, two, one, now. Did you guess a rhinoceros? If you did, congratulations, you are correct. Thanks for playing Block Party. There's nothing like your love And I can't stop my lips from singing And I can't stop my voice from shouting about your love It's everything I ever wanted Jesus, you're better than the best thing Your love is making my heart sing Nothing can ever separate me from you 
Street. So this month, we're talking about generosity, giving what you got to help others. Which is fine for you, Vin, because you're like an adult. Ish. <laughs> Ish? Yeah, I mean, you have a job, but you eat pizza for breakfast. Well, that's because it's great. <laughs> and to your point, Maya, uh, you don't have to be an adult to be generous. Well, I don't know, because it's like I don't have a job, and Dad doesn't give me an allowance, so it's like... How am I supposed to give if I don't have a lot to give? That's a good question, isn't it? Cause like, do you guys have a job? No? I didn't either when I was a kid. So how do you give, or how do you be generous when you don't have a lot to give? Well, there was a time that Jesus talked about this very thing. Let me tell you about it. Hey Daniel, can you bring out my money cases? Here you go. Thank you. Much. Okay, so when Jesus was here on earth, churches were called temples. And in a temple, there was a place called a treasury. Har me hearties, did someone say treasure? Uh, no, not pirate treasure, uh, church treasury. There were no pirates in this story. Not one? No, just hold the treasury, okay? Got it. Got Thank it. you. So, the treasury was a place in the temple where people could come give their money. The money was used to help people. The writer Mark in the Bible said one day Jesus was there watching people give their money. He watched as this, oh, super rich person gave, wow, this dude is straight rolling in the cash. Shiver me timbers. He gave like a million dollars. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And look, he still has tons left. But then, Jesus watched as a lady approached the treasury, and look what she had. Just two coins. Not very much, right? But Jesus watched as the woman took both of her very last coins and gave them to the treasury. Thank you, Buccaneer. You're welcome. Again, there are no pirates in this story. But you guys tell me something. This guy gave a ton, and this lady gave two coins. But who was the most generous? Tell me. Yes, that's right, the lady. Because why? Because she gave all she had. Did she have a little or a lot to give? She had a little, but she gave everything. This guy still had a ton left over for himself, which is why Jesus said, Truly, I tell you, this poor woman has put more into the treasury than all the others. 
they gave out of their wealth, but she put in everything, all she had to live on. See, to Jesus, generosity is more about what's in your heart than how much you give. Thanks for your help. Look, if you have a little or you have a lot, just give. Find ways to be generous. Jesus wants us not to be selfish, but to always be looking for ways that we can give to one another. Whether you have a little or a lot, that you'd have a heart inside that's generous. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for every good thing you give to us. Help us to have a heart of generosity and to give and share what we have with others, even when we don't have a lot. We love you. Amen. Wow, I don't know about you guys, but I'm inspired. That lady only had two coins and she gave... Everything! <laughs> you know what I was thinking? Woo! Pizza for lunch? Nope, that's you. I was thinking about that teddy bear that sits on my bed and how the little girl down the street would love him. We should see if we could surprise her. With pizza? No, the bear. Oh, even better. <laughs> Did you see her face? She loved it. Oh yeah, give me some way to be generous, Maya. Hey, you all be generous too. This week, I want you all to find a way to give something to someone else to help them out. Hey, peace. That's it for this Saturday morning. Kids, again, from our storytelling today, I want you to remember our bottom line. If you have a little or if you have a lot, just give. Just like from our story today. And this is your challenge for this week. Now, try to be generous to the people around you. Well, maybe to your family or maybe to some of your friends or your neighbors. You can maybe share your candies or maybe you can share your toys. Well, the choice is up to you and that is your challenge. To learn more about generosity, join us again next Saturday. That's it for now and bye kids! <laughs>